All right, so the first question is, what can everyday citizens do to combat white nationalism? What are white nationalists afraid of? Uh, there's actually a direct answer to that. I remember being in that seminar that I organized after coming back uh, from being outed at campus and I went to go up, be among white nationalists and say, this campus is rejecting me, but let me help you and really be a strong white nationalist. And I remember giving a talk where I was talking about if you're in these private situations and you're talking about something like I think in the news then was the Arizona Papers, Please law where they could approach someone who looked like they were undocumented and ask them. And I remember giving this talk and saying, okay, this is something where you could start with that. You can start with that and try to escalate the situation and say, oh, you know, why don't we want people who might look like they're undocumented in America and try to find somebody and say, get them to become more explicit, more extreme. And I remember in that talk saying, though, if somebody who's already receptive, the worst they can do is walk away. But what you're really worried about is that there's somebody else in the room who is disrupting that, who's walking up and who's saying, why are you talking about people that way? Uh, why are you talking about some group of people like they're not individuals with cares and worries just like you? Why are you trying to pit one another against each other? Like all, all the sort of things that sound very, very normal, but it's very brave to do that in the moment when that's happening and you don't even really know who you're talking to necessarily. But I remember giving this, this lecture and saying like, that's the person you have to worry about. It's somebody who gets in the middle of it and tries to disrupt the whole process. And you know, I'm looking at a room of people who could all be that person depending on where you are and what you're doing. 